Hello everybody, my name is Parak, and in today's video, as you can see, I've finally gone and gotten a Switch to play Chi Yu. Um, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about this series and where it potentially could go as we get into the hunt. And today, I just went and did the starter quest to unlock the first proper monster in the game, which is the Great Makawa. So let's go. Alrighty, so first things first, the uh, audio is gonna be quite weird for the first one. It usually is with pretty much anyone's series. Um, just because I got to figure out the uh, what's it called the audio side of things, figure out the levels that I need to use and whatnot. Um, the main part of this, though, I want to get your guys' feedback on how you want me to do these videos. I have three-ish options to choose from. We can either do what I did with Worlds, where I go and fight monsters that are not in World or Rise, and have that be the videos. Um, the one I might end up doing, despite whatever y'all think is to just go through and fight all the main monsters in this game so i get to experience and you'll get to see me experience every kind of monster in this game's variation because there's going to be different movesets there's going to be different frustrations to deal with of course um and the third method was going to be oh and with that second method i'm gonna, gonna go fight like two three monsters make it out of roughly that amount of monsters so you'll get to see a huge chunk of just hunting for a while um and the third option of course is going to be just doing every urgent quest but i feel like that might be a little bit uh too short of a series i guess i know this game takes a stupidly long time that's why i've given you guys those three options i think the second one is probably the best where i go fight like two or three different monsters because there's like a thousand quests in this game but uh we'll see how it goes and of course if you all haven't caught the streams, um, or just seen me respond to people that have asked me to play this game. I have only gotten up to Yanketku in the village quests. So, I am very, very new to this game, and I've only used... I've used the Greatsword now, I've used the Hunting Horn, the Charged Blade, and they're the only weapons I've touched. And all of them with, were with the Valor style. Because it seems to be the most useful for me at the moment. I'm also just collecting stuff because I obviously need materials. I'm going to need to make a lot of potions and things like that. Oh, that was the other option. So there are four options. The fourth option is to just do low rank and high rank upwards because obviously these are village quests. And obviously a lot of the monsters are going to be repeated. I'm going to try my best not to repeat monsters as well on video unless there's like something unique with the low or high rank or master rank variations y'all can let me know because i have absolutely no idea until i get to them and fight them but yeah definitely let me know what you guys think this is probably going to be a really short one just to go over the first monster and kind of give you guys those options um i have fought this lad before i've done him like two three times also playing this on switch thousand times better than playing it on uh 3ds that's for damn sure Lock on to him. Okay, that's how the lock on works here. Good to know. I also figured it out. I can uh, somewhat redirect where I'm aiming with the greatsword here, which is fantastic. Because uh, it, it's kind of clunky. If you if you haven't played this game, it's a little bit slower. Honestly, a little bit. I, I don't think it's all that much slower, in my opinion. But, uh, yeah. Um, I, I can somewhat redirect where my Valor swing goes. Which is very useful, because you can see that the uh the hitbox is kind of small on my swings here so if i miss one it's going to be really annoying and trying to turn like this without get getting damage in it's going to be very frustrating okay we got valor active i do need to watch my health and getting stunned of course should be hovering over med pots because i don't have a radio wheel in this game either okay what are you doing not going for me beautiful Okay, I've also got two healer palicos. I figured that's probably the best option for me. Since I just started and have no idea what I'm doing. Ooh, okay. Another one. Can you knock down for me? Oh, we've got my hunter out ready. Might be able to land it here, actually. If I can get over to him and send it. Bam! Big chonky damage. At least I hope that's chonky damage. I really, really do, because uh, it takes a while to pull that off. Okay, didn't attack. Oh, raw, raw. I'm just doing a lot of draw slashes because probably not the best idea to try and charge it in his face. Especially if he gets angry or something. Heal her up. 
Okay. But yeah, this, this feels a thousand times better than the 3DS. That, that was my main issue. I, I just didn't want to play it because it felt bad to play. This feels fantastic. Also, for whatever reason, I couldn't turn in like eight directions. So I, I was stuck using the camera to literally do everything and aim in that way every single time. So it was just agony to try and do anything. Oh, I should have probably held that, but we got lucky. Okay. Ooh, clutch. Three, yep. Eh. Oh my god, it missed. See what I'm talking about with that small hitbox? It's definitely uh, useful to be able to redirect where you're aiming. Hold it. Okay, lovely. Nice and simple. Oh, there's a knockdown. Time to charge her up. One, two, three. But do another one. One, probably just there. Yeah. Oh, I should have dodged. Okay. We also need to sharpen, of course, but I think I'm going to do that in the next zone. I also forgot the paintball. Okay, he should dash towards me. Paintball. There we go. Okay. That that was almost real sketchy, because uh, when they run away, because he will probably run away quite a bit, as will all the monsters, until I get used to it, um, you won't be able to see them on the map. I just happen to know where this one is because I've done it a couple times. Because I was getting gear and stuff when I did play. Okay, redirect it that way. Nope. Dodge again. Nope. And one more. Because he didn't go to do his big attack. There we go. Sheath. Okay. Do want my heals though. Where were they? There. I also knew to buy, um, what's it called? Sharpening stones as well as, uh... What's it called? Like pickaxes and stuff, so don't need to worry about that. Um, I think I just... Oh, there's so many to kill here. I'm gonna go to a different zone and sharpen, and then chase him down. I can go up to six from here anyway, so it's a pretty good idea, I think. But yeah, the game feels fantastic. If you've been hesitating buying this game, I definitely think getting it on Switch, very, very good. Also for Capcom, of course. Uh, I am on Switch. Just need to throw that out there, because, uh... Eee, it's been awkward at the moment. Do do do. Okay. I also don't know how to set up the uh, volume on here. It, it seems to, because I'm playing it through my monitor, obviously, because I need to set up like the OBS and all that to actually record. Um. Ooh. Unfortunately, I don't have Valor there, because uh, or Valor like powered up there. So we definitely could have gone for some juicy, juicy attacks there. Actually, I've got Ground Slash. If I can get close. Ooh, we send it. Bang! I also know hit zones are definitely a thing in this game as well, of course. So I want to try and aim roughly at good hit zones, which I may end up looking up, uh, like where good hit zones are. Okay, that's fine. What? Can you not Valor counter if it's directly behind you? Is that what happened? That was interesting. Okay, can you stop turning? That'll work. I also realized off that first draw slash there, you actually can go into to Valor Sheath stupidly quick for some reason, but the rest of them are quite slow. So if you're not sure you can land damage, you can actually get out really, really safely, I feel like. Or you can get the next swing very, very easily. Oh, he's weak. But yeah, I, I realized that and I was like, oh, that's useful. So, like, doubles my swing speed, I think, as well, which is very, very handy. No! Okay, I got one more swing in. Um, I'm full health, because the cat's just healed me. We can get rid of these and sharpen, I reckon. Instead of going to a different zone this time. Oops, I meant to spin. He was also going to sleep, so, uh... I do want to get in there pretty quickly, so I can keep my, uh, Valor. I actually might get my Ground Slash here. I just realized that. That could be real juicy, actually. Kill this one, and then we'll go over there. Okay, beautiful. Let's get the Sharpen. We'll get a huge wake up here. As I said, I hope Grand Slash hits hard, because uh, it takes a while to do. And uh, obviously, you also have to build it up. But we'll see here. It should be juicy, juicy damage, I feel like. Oh, he didn't go to sleep. He's limping. I thought he'd go to sleep. Also going to throw a paintball again, just in case he goes to another zone again. Because uh, they tend to run away a lot when um, they're weak. From what I noticed. Yeah, see, you can Valor Sheath immediately almost off the uh, draw slash. Which is beautiful. But it takes a while after that. 
Hold this one. Okay. Did he leave again? Yeah, he did. See, they leave really often when they're low, from what I've noticed. Ah, oh, are you going really far? Feel like he's going really far. Oh no. Okay. We'll just wait around. Hopefully he goes to sleep. Once we see his, like, zit stop moving, we'll go down, I reckon. But yeah, I I've literally done, like, five quests on the Switch so far. This game feels fantastic. So, it, it was just using the 3DS. It did not feel good to play. Also, the camera speed and everything, so much faster. The controls are a lot easier as well. As I said, I, I didn't have, like, four directional movement either. Or eight directional movement. So, it was very awkward. Bam! Oh, no death. Can I quick Valor off that? No, I can't. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Okay, that's fine. Okay, no, no, no. He's doing this. Is he going to do the dash? He did, but it wasn't at me, sadly. So we're going to chase him. Eh. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful stuff. We can get a big charge hit off this because it charges immediately, and then you can actually charge it. Okay, another one. Sheath this one. Okay, I'm in Valor again. Lovely. Maybe. I'll take it. That's juicy, actually. We can get a big draw slash off this. Okay, bam. Into a quick one again. One, two. Oh, send it early. Yeah. I think it's fun. It's honestly pretty fun. Definitely let me know what you guys want me to do with the videos, as I said. There's like four different ways I can go about making these. I just don't think it'll... I think it'll take way too long if I do it in the same way that I did World. Where I go show monsters that are not in Rise kind of deal. That is a very big dragonfly. That is a massive dragonfly. Jeez. But uh, yeah, I think it'll take way, way too long of a series if I like do one monster at a time. Oh, shiny. Why haven't you? Another shiny. But yeah, th this episode will be very, very short. And then I'll see your feedback and then respond from there. With what I think the best will be. Probably going to go grind this guy out. I need armor because I'm just using like bare bone stuff as well. So I will be able to keep playing at least. Until you decide. Well, everybody, that was the start of our journey through Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. Again, definitely let me know what you guys want to see, because you are the ones watching it, obviously. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one.